Oh, hey, Jack Rabbit here. So we're gonna have a little look at um, joysticks for the Commodore, and then an interesting solution how you can actually use them on a PC and also on the um, original Commodore hardware. So let's get into it. So first we have a look at the actual joystick, and um, this is a reproduction, so it's brand new. And, and here you see this is the Commodore style connector. So you can't connect that directly to a PC, and then um, this is a pretty standard retro um, joystick with two clunky buttons and a clunky and plasticky feeling. I mean, I know this is 3D printed, the reproduction. But it's got some, um, they call them pro switches. So in, in, back in the day, it was very important what type of switches you had in your joystick. So in this case, I think we might have some quite good um, switch. So, nothing really. Sort of classical 80s style coloring and clunky, ah, just clunky feeling. So that's, that's <laughs> all the joysticks of the day were were pretty crap. <laughs> well, I think this is uh, as a reproduction goes. I think this isn't bad quality. And I've actually got two of them, so that's good. So I can actually have two players at the same time. Oh, and the next module in with all interest is this one here. And as you see, it's got two connectors, so they can plug in the joysticks. And then it has this USB connector, which is actually this style of connector. And then it, on the other end, it has just normal connectors. So you just plug in this. And then you have your joysticks, and then this goes into the computer. So that's the, and this is actually quite an amazing structure. This is a metal case. I mean, the, ah, the joysticks in this uh, can't really say that they were um, cheap stuff, but I mean, this is this is rock solid built. I mean, very very nice build. So that's the joystick. Can I put one on, and then that's the USB connection. And this I'll just plug into the um, computer and then yeah, the joystick itself. So let's go into Commodore 64 forever and have a little look at the settings. So let's um, bring up the settings here. So. So when you bring up the settings, then you can actually go to input control. Here you have the options where you can say what is an input. We'll be focusing on the uh, specifics related to joysticks. So and basically you can say you have a joystick. And then here you can actually select what's in the first port. But, um, so I'll just say that it's a joystick. And then you have a just going to show this. Then you have an. Uh, this would be enough if you do, if you actually have a physical joystick. But then um, you can go in here, and you can actually select to use different keyboard pro base profiles. Um, so you actually don't have to have a physical joystick. But let's say that we take this one. We can take game control one. So that's done. So now we have, theoretically, we have joystick um, configured. So, let's start the game and see what happens. So, anyway, one thing that one needs to note is that um, if, you can, if you compare this control screen to the actual physical box, then um, the layout is that actually this here, the first one here, is port 2 physically and then this one is port 1. So um, don't really know why. I still think the devices should have given unique more unique names to these joystick um, devices when they're in, as they're enumerated on them. Because I think the enumeration comes from the um, box itself, so I think that it could have 
probably should have been in the name already. So you have number one and number two. So if we go back to C64 forever and we have a look at these games, these two first games, and we have a look at the configuration for the joystick again. Um, so what I did is I set it back to automatic because it doesn't seem to matter if one selects it actually directly or have it automatic. But then we actually see the host device. So it's actually expecting the, f the I don't know why it says this number one, number one. It's like some kind of grouping thing. But since this is expecting the controller on number one, as I interpret it, so that actually means on the physical box it'll be port two. Because that's what the way I found out the mappings are done when you plug in the USB device. So you have to put the joystick into physical port two for it to work. And that'll be the same. And then it'll it actually then works the same for this second game. So you got input. Edit and have automatic, and then it says the same game control. So, let's give it a try and um, see what it looks like. So, in the first instance, there's a space for to get past this screen. So, then we use the keyboard. laser overheating so I can't fire. Oh, this is a tricky game. But anyway, there we also see that the mouse now works. So, so a little bit of confusion as to what exact physical port gets mapped to what emulation port on the actual, in the actual program. But otherwise, I would say that this works pretty good. Oh man. Ah these are these are tough these retro games. These were the days. I actually had to know how to play. <laughs> there wasn't any save and reload too much. Uh, 
Anyway, that's, that kind of shows how the mouse, or the joystick is in operation. So, jumping into a little bit side topic, if you've been following the channel, I've been fixing an Amiga 2000 motherboard and I changed out the um, connectors for the um, mouse and joystick ports and um, still didn't fix the operation. But then I found out the F1 fuse which is one of these Pico fuses and um, these very much look like a, it could be a resistor or indu inductance but then if you really if it is, hasn't burnt up then if you look at the um, the markings then it will actually say the uh, amp rating at least on this model so these are three amp, three amp fuses so I'm just going to solder one of these into place and then we're going to um, test the joysticks on on this one so it's the fuse in place and just as a hint I actually got some new pliers and um, I was surprised to find out that these were um, <laughs> cheaper to buy from France than it was to get them from China which is a, a first for me not sponsored So, set up in the test corner, so on one of the ports I have the mouse connected and then on the other one I have the joystick, so let me just go to the um, port tests. So, so that's port um, zero, port one, and then if we move the mouse, then you just get chaotic behavior on the because it's just communicating with the d direction that the mouse is um, taking, and then when you press one of the buttons, then you get there a signal change in registry, and then you press the other one, and you get another. And I don't know why this one starts running. This register change must be related to some internal function and then we see of course a fire button works when you press the uh, uh, left hand um, mouse button and then we take the joystick and then we go up and down and right and left and then the fire so what I thought we'd do is we could um, swap around Oh, and you see you got the same behavior. And then do the same trick just to see the old up, down, right, left, and fire. So that seems to be. So now we have two working um, input ports related to the mouse and the keyboard. And then the last test is double button press on the mouse. So now we can we can only test that one. So let's let's see what happens when we press both. And then it comes back to the, to the menu, which it's supposed to do. So that means that the uh, also the um, right hand mouse button has been now tested. So anyway, now I uh, was going to boot it into a workbench and um, see that we have a mouse, but um, ah, the, the, this disk drive is one of my only disk drives that I have standalone, and yeah, it's it's really bad. Um, so all the good ones I have already there installed on other, in, in other units. So, um, but anyway, you can see now that this is partially loaded workbench. So then we see that we actually have a mouse that works. So, so from that perspective, I think test done because I, I was very skeptical if if this one that I had tried to fix was going to even work worth worth a crap. But um, and it didn't. <laughs> so, 